that's one of almost two dozen beaver dams right there that's gone in since we built it. So as usual, they're working in here on our projects and uh, actually uh, accentuating what we try to do with, uh, with the meadow, which is um, maximize its ability to retain water in the watershed and, and deliver it later into the year. Pond and plug is, is, is sort of the, 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 the tag that has been put on a, uh, a restoration technology uh, because it's so obvious um, that raises, uh, that basically reverses uh, uh, a watershed degradation trend called downcutting or channel incision, where the, the stream bed uh, erodes and, and drops, and, and, and as it does, then the um, the stream flow can no longer access the floodplain in during floods. One of the most visible attributes of the restoration technique are the ponds that are created. They're borrow pits uh, that that are essentially portions of the downcut channel that have been excavated wider and deeper. Uh, the material that's excavated is then used to fill the adjoining sections of downcut channel back to grade in, a, in, in kind of massive plugs of soil. Well, I was on about the third uh, transect across the valley uh, surveying with a laser when I realized that the, that the gully was up on the side of the mountain and that, and that we had this, this meadow out here uh, with, a, with a, a swales running through it that would accommodate the, the channel. And it was like, uh, this seems like a, an obvious place to try this. The downcut channel no longer can, is a conduit for water out of the landscape, so both soil and surface water begins to rise back up until there's an, it reaches the new low point in the valley, which is oftentimes the old remnant channel. The old channel that was there before things began to downcut. Uh, if I'd come in here and dug this, there's a 25-75 chance that, that what I dug would have gotten huge. Because I, because I had, I would have disrupted the natural resistance, and of the vegetation and the soil. So we have found that in, in unless you know, there's strong reasons that it's far better to just use the remnant channel as is, um, and allow it to evolve and and finish its maturation process on its own. In in essence, it's it's not only um, a relatively inexpensive way to reverse the the degradation um, process and effects, uh, it's also relatively low risk because we're, we're allowing the landscape to fully uh, spread its excess energy uh, as it historically did. This, this landscape sustained me um, for the last 30 some years. Uh, first, you know, early on it was in agriculture and timber, uh, sort of a, an extractive type. Uh, sustenance uh, and then I had the opportunity to basically um, give back and, and so this is my gift back to the land that I live in. The, the, the changes that occur on the landscape ecologically are, well I'm not sure there is a word, uh, not many people have been this lucky so they could coin a word.